Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share um, what God has been teaching me this week. And um, I hope that it encourages all of you because it's a lesson that we need to continually remind ourselves of on a daily basis, sometimes a moment by moment basis. So if you would like to know um, what God has been teaching me this week, stay tuned. All right, so today I took my girls to get pedicures. And I have not had a pedicure since um, 2015, June of 2015, when my brother got married. So it's been a really, 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 really long time. And my girls had never been, and I've always like kind of like dreamed of taking them and having that special moment with them um, just kind of enjoying being girly and stuff and so we finally did that today I'm going to share with you some of the footage from today parts of it were quite hilarious especially with uh, my middle daughter Olivia she is quite the ham when uh, well all the time actually <laughs> So there were four pedicure chairs left out of about 10. Um, I think there were seven employees working. The tables with all of the manicures were completely filled. Um, against my better judgment, uh, we stayed and um, thinking that we wouldn't have to wait very long. Um, so we ended up having to wait about 45 minutes until they started on the first one of us. So they started with Olivia. And as I was sitting there for 45 minutes, I could feel my anxiety get worse and worse and worse every five extra minutes we were there and nothing was happening. We went around 10.30, so I eat lunch around 11, 11.30. I didn't think we would be gone that long. So I didn't think about, you know, maybe bringing a snack or whatever. One of my biggest anxiety triggers is feeling hungry. And so when I feel that first hunger, or I know I don't have that um, security blanket of some kind of snack nearby, I will feel a panic ramping up inside of me. Now, Instead of just chilling in that chair and enjoying the massage feature and eventually when they cut the water on and the bubbles and the, you know, the um, bath salts and stuff like that they put in the water, instead of just talking to my girls the entire time and just trying to have the best time ever, there were moments that were filled up with that but I would I became absorbed with my own thoughts and they were racing a million miles an hour finally after leaving we were there almost two hours okay and I remember still feeling that panicky feeling like I'm so hungry I just want to get out of here I just want to pay and leave right and because I allowed my thoughts to get so jumbled and so hurried and so rushed, I had completely missed the entire um, lesson that God was trying to teach me this week. So there is a verse in Psalm that we all know and that we've heard a thousand million billion times. 
It is on the side of coffee mugs. It is on t-shirts. Um, entire brands have been made out of this one verse. And the verse is, be still and know that I am God. Have you ever just been living your life and you thought, you know what, I need to figure this out. I, I, I'm, I need to fix this. I need to repair this. I need to schedule this. I need to get this together. I need to fit this into my life somehow. I need to manipulate my day-to-day -day living. And it just, all those words that we say to ourselves become a completely overwhelming situation eventually. But that verse, it's be still. Well, how do we do that? How, do, how are we supposed to do that? This whole life, this whole society that we live in is rush, rush, rush. What is it that you usually say to people on Sunday morning when they ask you how you're doing? How are you doing this week? Oh, we've been busy. We like to respond with a list of all the things that we have done and that have taken our time up. I don't really know why we do that. Maybe it's to feel important. Maybe it's to validate that we are really um, a vital part of the world because we are a part of so many different things. But if you find your value in being busy, you'll never learn how to be still. And God values us being still. So when he says be still, we can look to his example that he left for us while he was living on earth. So do you know that Jesus, the son of God, actually got to the point where he was tired and he needed a refresh and so what would he do he would go off by himself to a quiet place and he would be still and he would recharge and um there are so many instances where he's doing a miracle for somebody and he says at the end of the miracle um before he he continues on his journey or whatever he's doing he says to them do not tell anyone what i've just done for you and when i first recognized that a few years ago it blew me away i was like lord why would you be telling these people who have obviously had this miracle happen and they are going to naturally want to tell everyone and you don't want them to tell and I truly believe it's because Jesus is showing us his humanity in the same situation as he's showing how he is God as well. So only God can do miracles, but he's also 100% human, not just 100% God, he's 100% human. So he also gets tired and overwhelmed with life and he did and he told these people he said just don't tell anybody and I believe it's because he didn't need that many more people following him around because he was in such high demand don't you feel like you're in high demand sometimes maybe it's every single day maybe you're followed to the bathroom like I am all the time maybe you are um in a really, really important position at your job and you're in charge of a bunch of people under you and um, it's just all consuming and you don't know how to turn off that work part of your life, that manager part of your life. Maybe 
um, you're carrying for a loved one right now and it's completely sapping your energy and and you just have to do your normal life all in between taking care of this person or maybe it's just you're running a business and you're just you you've put all your time and energy into this and it's got so much emotion attached to it and you're drained your body is screaming that it just wants to rest. The absolute best thing that we can do for ourselves and, and in order to get closer to the Lord is to be still. It's actually to take time out of this busyness that we like to cling to and that we're so comfortable in for some reason. And we take a step back and we say, no, I don't need to figure this out right now. No, I don't need to do this right now. Right now, I need to get away. I need to go be by myself. I need to be still. And then what's the other part of that verse? And know. So he wants us to be still before we know what we're supposed to do. Before we know more about him. Before we will glean the godly wisdom that he has for us or the knowledge or the path that he wants us to take he wants us to be still a lot of times we we get so stressed out because we're like i don't know what my next step should be should i quit my job should i move should i um should i take that leap of faith that i've been putting off for so long um we, we try to use our minds to just figure out what it is that we need to piece together in order for our lives to continue to be and feel important. And God is saying, stop, stop, be still and know, and know the truth. Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way we can know that on a deeper level, on a level that's going to make our lives so much more peaceful and joyful and prosperous is if we are still. So this week, this coming week, we have to practice being still. I can honestly tell you now that if I was still, if I had stilled my mind, taken those thoughts captive, like he would have loved for me to, while well, I was at that nail salon today, which is really a, more of a rare treat than most of you probably experience. Um, I know some of you go to the nail salon once a week or once a month or you know, a few times a year, this is an extremely rare occurrence. So I should have just been in the moment, right? Who cares what time it is? Who cares that you're hungry? Who cares that it's taking forever? I should just have been still. And every single day, that God gives us is a gift from him and the way we can give it back to him as a gift of worship is to include these moments of being still not letting your mind go crazy not trying to figure it all out not to let the stress build up but to learn the practice of being still and then you will know that he is God Thank you so much for watching. I pray that these videos are encouraging to you. Um, I pray that in just a small way, I can um, be used as a vessel to encourage you to think outside the box, to be challenged, to change for the better, and to look to Christ as your guide. And um, I am excited about the future and about sharing more of these um, God moments that I have with all of you. I pray that you have a wonderful evening and and please share below in the comments 
if you get to experience the be still moment this coming week, let me know what it was. Let me know how it worked out for you. And I will be praying that all of us will be more mindful to just stop and be still. All right. I love you guys. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.